this right here is actually the fastest 350 horsepower car that I've driven that's naturally aspirated. This thing's got a weight of around, depending on how you option it out, around 3,095 pounds they're saying online, up to 3,195, so essentially 3,200. The seven tr speed trans just feels so good too. Like, so good. And you can hear those ITBs really opening up. I hope this video can capture it until I get a better mic for the setup that I got going right now. But the ITBs, man, you can just hear those things screaming. The rev match, that was a rev match. I did not rev it myself. It has rev match in the car. Um, I'm sure you can actually turn it off. I haven't played with the settings. If you want a more raw experience, if you want to actually rev match yourself, which I know you can, I just haven't messed with the settings. Um, it's interesting because I haven't done a review on my car yet, even though I've been driving it. I'm going to do it probably this weekend, a short one, but I want to do a nice, really in-depth review of my 997.2 GT3 RS that I just bought. But this car, for the interior and the fit and finish, I say it a lot, the fit and finish, quote unquote, but I mean... If you guys know and you've done your research, Porsche makes high quality products. Like the buttons feel high quality. The shifter feels high quality. Um, the door panels, the extended leather on the dash here, the cup holders. Um, I love, I love, I love the G-forces kind of like um, gives it more of a total race car feel in terms of, oh, I can see the G's I'm going at. Um, or the G's that the cars are pulling depend depending on, the, you know, like a spirited drive, you kind of can say, hey, you know, I took my car, or I pushed my car pretty hard this week, or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't think this has a lap timer built in. I think it just has a regular clock up top. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'm not 100% positive as I'm a newer to being a Porsche owner. I'm just newer to being a Porsche owner that I think only the GT cars have lap timers and Turbo S's, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me. believe this thing's 350 horsepower it feels so good like if you're looking for a nice car that's a Porsche that's reliable that has low miles something like this 18,870 miles I think that's the price right now for this one is uh 49.9 or 59.9 I'll probably throw a little blurb up in the video for the right price I haven't looked it up it's for sale at MS Motors uh but this flat six screams 3.4 liter flat six revving up to mm, I want to say 77 ish 100 rpms from the looks of it um, like I'm honestly shocked on how well this car handles feels and performs for the price that it is and the way it sounds like if you put an exhaust on this thing you're gonna have that beautiful kind of GT3 esque sound so to speak Right now, even the way it sits, it's such an enjoyable driving experience. The seven-speed trans feels really good. Like you would think, like the, the one through six gears are the are the same. They don't feel like they're all bunched up. The trans doesn't feel like it's tight. The trans doesn't feel like the shifting doesn't feel like it's all crammed in there. The seven is really like up and far away, so it still maintains that six-speed kind of gearbox feel. You would never know it was a seven-speed until you told somebody it was a seven-speed terms of the feel and the way it's actually um, actually how you actually throw the shifter um, to be honest right now we're driving on the freeway we're going 70 miles an hour I kind of have the seat set to the way I like it um, we mess with the steering wheel here a little bit um, but it feels good I like the controls on the steering wheel it's nice uh, very similar steering wheel to my 997, even though this is a 991. Uh, I do love the panoramic roof. The only downside of the panoramic roof is when it's closed, the Alcantara covers it. But, you know, you can, you can pop it and pull it all the way back, which is very nice. And then the, let me close it up here for sound purposes, but it's beautiful. I love it. The roof goes all the way back. It, it gives the interior a, a different feel of a regular Porsche where... You know, you don't have a sunroof in some of the, you know, more sportier cars, like, a, you know, GT3 and etc. Um, and some of the older ones obviously did the older 997 first generation. They did have some sunroofs, so it was an option. But it's cool having a sunroof. It sets a vibe in the car when you want it to be there, and then when you close it, it still uh, gives you that solid, I mean, it still gives you that nice sports car feel if that's something that you want. But, you know, here at the 
here's the thing, it's like, this isn't necessarily a track car. Sure, you could probably take it there, but, you know, it's kind of a very spirited, fun street car that has a nice, very, very nice curb appeal. Curb appeal. You can go on a date in it, and then, you know, like, right now on the freeway, like, the rev match is amazing. Like, it's so cool. Like, it's so cool how you downshift in a rev match. It's, like, here, we'll go from fourth gear to third. This is not me doing it. Back and third, back and forth. We'll go back down to third here in a second, just because it sounds so cool. So it's like, Ooh. I thought it had no lift shift, it does not, just tested it. But the downships are amazing. This is in fifth now. We'll go down to fourth, we'll go down to third. <laughs> so good. I love the downshifts, how it rev matches. Yeah, sure, some people are gonna say, well, I like it raw, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can do that. But to be honest, one of the toughest parts about my 997.2 GT3 RS is it doesn't have any rev matching. It doesn't It doesn't have that, you know, so sometimes like when you're coming into a corner, you're, you're, you're on the brake and you're on the clutch and trying to get a little bit of a throttle blip, it's tough to do, depending on the shoes that you're driving. God, the rev match is so cool. This does have the uh, Bose sound system, so you have the amazing little tweeters up here that bounce off the windows. Uh, you also have the amazing speakers down here and the little, uh, well, the tweeters up here on the dash. There's speakers up here up top and then inside the door also. It's like a dual or a single huge speaker. Um, also, one thing about this car that I noticed that I really like is that the defrost on the front windows the rear window defrost is the same, so as like any other car where it's built into the rear window, but the front window defrost is super cool because you don't have to, like, yes, this system does turn on where, the, so, in regards to, uh, hang on, I'm getting on the freeway. would be the car is what I'm saying is this is car is perfection for a daily driver a fun weekend cruiser you could still valet it at a restaurant if you care about the pull up you know to oh yeah I drive a Porsche if that's what you're all after great so be it but if you're looking for an overall great driving experience sound emotion fun with the actual having fun with the shifter you know what I mean and like you know getting that amazing sound 
and then still being able to you know put it in seventh gear and cruise quietly on the freeway have a conversation you have the amazing uh, new PCM I, I believe it's the 3.1 PCM system where you have the new PCM where you can you know obviously stream your audio take your phone calls I'm actually very iconically or I ironically shocked I actually thought you know like my GT3 RS for example like I was like, ah, oh, this car is gonna be so good, this and that. Yeah, the car was good because my hype for the car was so up here. Like I was, I had the, my expectations were this high. My expectations were this for this. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's blown every expectation out of the water for sure. I mean, this is a great low mileage example of this car. We'll do a little bit of a walk around type video when I go and park it here, but. what a car should do is when you're chilling by yourself like yesterday or the other day when I was driving my RS5 uh, yesterday I was going under this little overpass I was going under this little overpass right and when I was going under this little overpass I kind of put the window down a little bit I put it in dynamic mode so the exhaust opens up and like wow I was like wow what an amazing car it makes you smile like those downshifts little things like that on your daily drive where you know, you're going to have one car and it's just you and your girl or just you as a single dude. You know, with kids, I mean, listen, it does have back seats, but I mean, I don't know what it would be like to lug a baby stroller around, throw it in the back and do all that stuff. I have no idea. Um, so, I mean, it has the option to put a baby seat, I mean, in here or baby stroller, I guess, maybe in the back of some sort or in the front, I have no idea. It looks like it has some storage space back there. When we do a walk around, I'll take a peek. Like I said, I've never messed around with the new 911, just regular 911. I know about the GT3 RSs. Um, so this car is new to me, it's shocking. So this review is coming from a really, just gotten the car through the camera on and did a little walk around just to figure out what this actually is. And you know, when you see these driving around, I just thought, oh, it's just a whatever car, but this is not a whatever car. This is not a whatever car by any means. Such a good car. Like the way it handles like right now, oh my goodness. It goes above and beyond for what you would expect for the price target that it's at. Just a regular 911 Carrera, but I think this is literally the fastest 350 horsepower and it's a seven speed manual. I think it's the fastest 350 horsepower car that you've ever driven, especially being naturally aspirated. I love the panoramic roof on this car. Panoramic roof is amazing. Um, it actually slides back, which I actually love. I mentioned it in a previous video, my RS5 does not have uh, the sliding roof, which I like the sliding roof. Max Wall on the skateboard, give us a trick. Oh, wow. It has the active rear wing. I mean, what do you think? You've driven it, right? Fastest 350 horsepower. Yeah, I mean it puts it down. Well, I have the actually nice part about this car it actually has keyless go in a way because yeah. it has the original or the I wish Porsche I don't know buttons, I think they still want to keep the driver keep the heritage yeah the, the Le Mans start you know that's why they do that because the Le Mans 
has a the PCM 3.1, which is the one version up from mine in the GT3 RS, which I'll do a review. I think they make the coolest cup holders though. And Driving around the parking lot, I'll get the rolling shot next to it. All right. Feel, because this is the best feeling manual transmission that I've ever driven, personally. Um, I thought my 997.2 GT3 RS was. That's a little more notchy and rough, which I get, but this, this right here is just buttery smooth which I love. Like you're, you're not concerned about what gear you're in. It's very, you're very confident about going from a fifth to a fourth to a third. It does have a gear selector indicator, which I kind of like. Um, yeah, some people are gonna say it's it's still kind of more digital. It's not as analog, blah, blah, blah. But listen, I like knowing that I'm, I went from fifth to fourth, not fifth to second. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but overall, this car is a big, big win in my book. And it definitely gives me a different perspective and example of what the 911 Carrera is. Um, and it's above and beyond. I, I'm more speechless and have less words to say than, you know, which is a good thing. So yeah, enjoy if you're looking for one, highly recommend it, just find a good deal. Maybe get a PPI if you need to, but a car like this, for example, 2014, 18,000 miles. I mean, you're, you're not gonna have to worry about anything for a long time. And Porsche is very reliable car um in terms of you know what i've read from people's ownerships that i know personally i guess from mine so far um yeah you have the little nicks and crannies and things that can pop up but overall great car so if you're in the market definitely would recommend a car like this for this price to give you all those experiences that a lot of cars nowadays can't give you so hope you enjoyed the video